Sales invoices can be created based on orders and shipments, or they can be directly entered using the Sales Invoice function. Similar to other functions, you can define multiple transaction types to control what information is entered. General invoice information, including sales site, invoice type, customer, and accounting date, will be entered in the header section. While detailed information, including ship to address, currency, freight, stock, and more, is entered on the invoices tabs. Let's take a look at entering a direct sales invoice in your system. To enter in a direct sales invoice, select the invoice function under the sales module. Select which entry screen you would like to use. I'm going to use the full entry invoice. To create a new invoice, click New in the right-hand panel. I'm going to create an invoice for site NA012, customer NA003, fun times. So I'll enter in my sales site. My invoice type will be direct, and I'll enter in a reference. And then I can enter in the invoice date. This will be the date that gets posted to the general ledger. Next, I need to select my bill to customer. If I know the customer number, I can go ahead and enter that in. On the management tab, I can enter additional information, sold to, pay by, the delivery address, the stock transaction flag indicates if the invoice is managed within stock updates. I can enter in project information, sales rep, tax information, and notice that my status is not posted and it is not printed. I can also enter in transportation information on this tab. The invoicing tab allows me to enter in currency rate, the control accounts, the customer payment terms, if there's going to be a discount or not. I can also enter in analytical dimension information and invoicing elements information as well as comments. The lines tab is where I enter in my product. I'm going to sell some sprockets, so I'm going to enter in product BMS001 to fun times. I'm going to go ahead and click into my pop-up view to show it in the grid format. I can go ahead and put in my invoiced quantity. I'm going to invoice them for 15. And then I can change my gross price or let it default from my cost. I can enter any discounts. I can change my tax level if I want. I can go ahead and set commission information, project information. Um, if all my information is correct, I can go ahead and close out of the grid. And if this is the only stock that I'm going to be putting on the invoice, I can then go ahead and click Create. Once my invoice has been created, I could go ahead and print my invoice, or I can post my invoice. This will post and validate. Once I get my log file, if my invoice has been created OK, you can see I created um, invoice DIR 00027. I can go ahead and close out of my log file and I have created my new invoice. In this lesson you have learned that sales invoices can directly be entered using the sales invoice function. You can define multiple transaction types to control what information is entered. And finally, sales site, invoice type, customer, and accounting date will be entered in the header section, while detailed information is entered on the invoice tabs.